All right, I'm here today with Emma Kincaid, who is the director of our assistive tech program, which is growing, uh, growing enough that uh, Emma's busy, 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 busy all the time. Uh, but their assistive tech program helps a lot of a lot of families in a lot of ways. Uh, so welcome, Emma. Thank you for coming on board and doing the video. Thank you for having me. So can you give us just kind of a, an overview of what the assistive tech program is for the Arc of Ohio? So the assistive technology program is essentially equipment, clothing, um, anything that will be beneficial to the individual. Um, as far it can go as far as helping the individual become more independent. Um, we also do a lot of incontinence items as well. Um, anything that is just very beneficial um, and that's going to help the individual um, live a happy, healthy life. Yeah, I think when people first hear assistive tech, they sometimes they're like, okay, it's a technology, it's some sort of electronic device. But there's a lot of a lot of things that can be built through assistive tech that aren't necessarily a lot. It's not necessarily a, an um, an iPad or a tablet or that kind of thing. Um, can you kind of give us maybe the top? I don't know the top three, the top, but just some things that um, some very kind of, for instance, kind of items that you see come through quite often. Some of the more popular ones. That could kind of give us an idea of how widespread assistive tech can be. Yeah, so um, especially when spring starts to kind of come around, the transport chairs um, are really um, kind of like goes to the top of like being the top five um, most requested. Um, just because um, I know like with the ARC, we do a lot of like the Cedar Point Day. So people want to go out and enjoy um, summer. So transport chairs, um, we do a lot of mattresses, hospital beds, bath chairs. Um, we've done pill minders, watches, things like that. So it's just, I just kind of explain it as a, like anything you can think of that's going to help the individual, the waiver will most likely be able to pay for. It doesn't have to be like an iPad or an Echo Dot, um, clothes. Sometimes we've even done um, certain like medications or formulas also through the waiver. Yeah, good. So if, if I'm a parent and my son has a waiver, um, could I use that waiver? And what, what kind of waiver, what kind of funding systems support assistive tech? As far as like what waivers are out there? Yeah, like which which ones could, if I use a assistive tech program and I have a waiver, because there's Medicaid waivers, there are home, there are HCBS waivers, there's, you know, the CANS waiver, and all these are the 1915C waiver. What are the waivers that we can use for the assistive tech program? Uh, we have the level one waiver, um, the self waiver, and then the IO waiver as well. And then as well as for individuals that don't have waivers, um, a lot of times county boards have their programs as well. So like county funds, um, <clears throat> some call it like family engagement programs. Um, so there's a lot of different programs and funding sources for those families that aren't necessarily on a waiver just yet. Okay, good. So even if there's not a waiver, there's still a chance that there might be some funding uh, that would be uh, that would be available for sure. Mm -hmm. What's um, when you look at the assistive tech program? What uh, what do I need to do? Like if I I'm watching this video and I say this seems like something that I would want to take take advantage of, take part in. Um, where do we start? Where would a family start if they need some assistive tech? So they can always email or call me um, if they have like any questions because I can always walk them through the process. But essentially, or if they have questions of like what they're looking for, like this is what I need, what's out there. Um, but essentially you'll start with your SSA. You'll kind of let them know this is what I'm looking for. Um, kind of they'll explain to you because I know every county has a different process and a set of rules that they have that they do. Um, so they'll kind of explain their process and everything. The SSA will then reach out to me. Um, uh, so and so is looking for this. Can we get a quote? I'll send it back. Um, and then <clears throat> They will start the ISP um, with the revision, adding the Arc of Ohio in there, um, and then getting the authorization through. 
once I get the authorization, I go ahead and order and ship it out to wherever um, the SSA or the family has talked about and then fill the waiver. Yeah. Good. So it's not even um, as a family, I wouldn't have to even know that exact piece necessarily. I could just say, here's the situation, what's out there, you know, what can help and what would be beneficial. That's a wonderful. And, and I think SSAs do that as well. They're like, oh, I'm looking for this solution, right? Or a solution mm -hmm. to this, uh, this issue for sure. Um, very well, very well. So uh, the assistive tech program is, is, is ran by Emma. She's right here in the Columbus office in the phone number. Uh, we'll put the phone number on the screen here so you can see that. Uh, 614-487-4720. And you can ask for Emma and she can help you um, yeah, go down that go down that road of assistive uh, assistive technology because assistive tech is it's huge like there are just so many different avenues there's so many different um, uh, items and things like that and not only are there a lot of items but it's technology some of it is rapidly changing or improving or progressing and other things get obsolete so there's a lot to navigate through and the archival how can certainly help in that regard I think the one thing that that I notice with families a lot I have to kind of Say, uh, think of it a little bit differently. And, and that is sometimes it's, uh, well, what do you have in your system technology program? We don't really have a catalog necessarily. It's not so much of asking the question, what do we have? It's more about what is the need? What, what, what is, where's the issues, where are the issues lying and what, what is there? And then we'll go and look at what will help. Okay. Cause really we could build, uh, am I right in this demo? We could pretty much build anything to a waiver if it can get approved, right? I mean, we're just right. trying to find those solutions for sure. Yeah, it's mostly like what you're specifically looking for. Um, because like you said, there is there's so many things out there as well as so many new things that are being created. So it's just kind of more of the specifics. Yeah, for sure, for sure. Well, thank you. Uh, thank you for giving us an overview of the assistive tech program. Again, if you would like to have more uh, information about the assistive tech, you can call our office here at 614-487-4720. You can also go to our, on our website at thearchivalohio.org and you can get some more information on the assistive tech and all the other programs and advocacy efforts that we do. And thank you, Emma, for coming on board for a quick video about assistive technology. Thank you.